Hi, welcome to this instructional design and assessment course. My name is Mark Gerak and I'll be your instructor. Today I want to show you around the Angel Learning Management System and where your content will be stored for future access. Now even though you're familiar with the Learning Management System itself, I would recommend that you watch this video in, in its entirety so you do become more familiar with how I organize the course itself. So sit back and enjoy the video. Once you log into the Angel Learning Management System, you'll notice on the top left that there are six main tabs. You have the course, the calendar, lessons, resources, communicate, and then of course report. We're not going to worry about the report portion of um, the Learning Management System but I would like to direct your attention back to the course tab which really is your home page if you think of it like a website. The first thing you'll see is the about section and there that's where you learn a little bit about what the course is about and the first three steps that you need to do before you start your course. For example, check out the syllabus. You can click on this link if you want um, to download the syllabus. Then you need to respond that you've read the syllabus and really understand the course expectations. And then finally, introduce yourself. Uh, explain not only to uh, your peers but also to the instructor myself uh, who you are and what goals you have for this specific course. Once you've done that, you'll see that there are a few other modules on the home page, so, such as access to the course syllabus once again. Uh, course announcements, pay attention to that once in a while. We may add a few course announcements if there's any changes. I also will send out emails. Institutional resources such as the library and also some um, access to uh, Microsoft Office if you need it. And then your grades if uh, you want to check your grades at a glance. I do use the calendar which is uh, you know the second tab uh, within that you can float from month to month right now we're January you'll notice that the events that I've added are located within the calendar itself when you go from one month to another you'll see that um, all the activities are listed so for example all the discussion questions are due um, the at midnight every Wednesday uh, within the duration of the course on the left hand side you'll see that um, uh, assignments are due on Sundays. So if you ever are wondering when an assignment is due, you can use that calendar for events. One other thing to point out is the virtual meetings as well. If you are curious when a virtual meeting is, uh, just check the calendar. The next tab is lessons. The first folder is introduction. When you click on that, this is the introduction to the course. So once again, similar to the home page, you have the, the, the course syllabus, and then you uh, have the discussion post to confirm that you've read the syllabus and understand it and then finally the introduction of yourself uh, to the class. Whenever you want to go back to a specific section this is what we call a breadcrumb trail. So I'm going to go all the way back to the lessons tab which is right here. You can click here as well if you want. But if I go to uh, unit 1 you're going to notice a similar pattern not just with this unit but other units. So with the introduction of each unit, you'll notice that we have overview and objectives, activities, and then assessments. And just to clarify, activities are assignments that you need to do in order to understand the information or consume the information. So for example, reading, watching, uh, it could be course notes if they're available. Uh, assessments are anything that you need to produce to make sure that you are achieving objectives for that specific unit. And you'll see that there are two assignments here that are being introduced. One for the self-assessment and then second being the, uh, the lesson plans. So read those carefully. Take note of when they're due. Uh, you can download the actual documents themselves. One other thing to point out is that there are discussions uh, once a week. Uh, in some cases twice. Uh, the first unit you will have two discussion questions. When you see this little folder with a pin in there that means that's a discussion question. Click on it and you'll see the instructions what you need to do. Uh, the discussion guidelines, 
how do you respond or how do you reply, and the grading itself. Each discussion for this course is worth one point. So uh, keep that in mind, but you do need to follow the directions. So, be, so read these very carefully and do your best. Uh, the syllabus points out what makes a good response as well as what makes a good post. And understand that there is a difference between a post, which is your initial uh, comments, and then a response, which is basically a response or a reply to your peers uh, after they make their posts. So I'll go back to the Lessons tab and you'll see once again, if I go to Unit 2, you'll see a similar pattern here, Overview and Objectives, what's expected of you in this specific unit. Here are the activities such as reviewing uh, the book or reading specific chapters of the book, maybe going to a website at some point in time. Click on Assessments. You'll see here in the second unit you only have one discussion post uh, that you'll be required to do. All right, so that goes from Unit 1 through Unit 10. Make sure, again, read the directions. One last thing I want to point out is the coffee house. This is really a place that's reserved for you to uh, post anything that's on your mind. If maybe there, you find some relevant information that you want to share with your students, go ahead and do that. I think uh, everybody will appreciate that, and um, everybody can post and reply. Next is the resource tab, and again, you'll see you have different modules. Here, there's the course syllabus. You can use Wikipedia if you want, or uh, any of the search elements, as you see here. You can Google certain things directly from the learning management system. Uh, there are useful links, and we can add more as we move along. And once again, you have institutional resources, very similar to what you see on the home page. The next tab is Communicate. And here you can send course email. You can see uh, the course roster, course news and events. You can see all the discussion forums directly from the Communicate page. Uh, if there are live office hours, they would be scheduled right here. And one other thing I want to point out is the Blackboard Collaborate. If you want to know when sessions are, or if you want to directly go to a specific virtual session, Collaborate session, what you can do is click on the calendar. We'll keep it at January 23rd. And let's say I want to go to, uh, I'll set a range between the, today and uh, February 26th, and then click Go. You'll see that between that time span, I have two virtual meetings uh, scheduled. Um, and if I click on any of these virtual meetings, uh, the links themselves, and it falls within the start date, you will launch Collaborate directly um, in, from your web browser and you'll join the meeting. So really that's about it for um, the quick tour here in, um, in Angel, the learning management system. Uh, again, uh, make sure that you are reading all the directions carefully and if there's an emergency or something that comes up that may cause you to uh, delay in turning in a paper, please give me a call or contact me before the event transpires so then that way we can help you plan um, uh, how to make up if needed. If you have any other questions about uh, or need any clarification, you know how to reach me via email or via my mobile phone. Uh, but other than that, I really look forward to a great uh, semester with you. And um, I wish you the best of luck.